Chris Hanley. 88 to? 2000. 2000. That follows my my arc in a similar fashion. Yeah. yeah my first year was 88. Uh, what cabin do you play in 88? 4A. 4A. Right Who was your counselor? Joanne Day. Joe Day. Yeah. yeah. Joe's boys. I yeah. remember that. Yep. That female counselor had male had male cabin group. Yep. 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 And do you remember anybody who was in that cabin group? Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh was, so I was in that. Yeah, I was a camper with Matt Walsh all the way up to up. Yeah. As well. And um, so you were eight years old. Yeah. And how old are you now? 43. 43. So 35 years. Yeah. Uh, and you're still in touch with Matt Walsh? Yeah, yeah. Occasionally we uh, we connect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what other counselors did you have here on? Uh, Todd. Todd, Todd yeah. Boy was one of my counselors. Uh, Scott Moynihan was one of my counselors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are, those are the top ones for sure. Yeah, and did you have staff that you looked up to as a camper? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Steve Pierso. Yeah. So one of the childhood idols and then uh, got a chance to work with him on staff. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a really great guy. Mm -hmm. um, yourself, obviously, you are a CIT director. Yeah. Right? Let us as uh, young staff members and showed us the way and uh, had I a transition from campers to responsible staff members. Yeah. Who was, uh, who was, who were CITs when you were a CIT? Because uh, that was a great group. It like, was. It was. So in July, you had, uh, you had Jason Oski was in July. Yeah. Uh, but in our group, uh, I think Matt Walsh was in the July group as well. Yeah. Uh, in the August group, it was myself, Amanda Huss, Mark Davis, Vanessa Oliver. Dana uh, Hopkins? Was she uh, no, she was a little old. I think she's a year older than me, so she huh. might have been uh, a counselor when I was CIT. Yeah. Uh, Paul Mazur was one of the CITs with us. So yeah. We had a very, very strong group. Yeah. I remember, yeah, I can picture pictures from that with us wearing those dark red special tripping. Yeah life jackets yeah um how do you feel walking around here this weekend uh it's beautiful it's just nice to be back uh nice to see a lot of the stuff the same yeah uh, almost like a time capsule on change yeah uh, but then also the nice new additions as well right mm -hmm. um it's, it's does it annoy you the changes or or do you think it's this is of, pretty it's, good it's part of life right yeah. like you got to keep things, moving things forward the new insulin is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the important parts are the same, right? The waterfront's the same, right? The location's the same, the people, the energy, the vibe, it's all still the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, it's just, it's a lot smaller than it seems. It seems like it's- That's is, what people are saying. Yeah, it seemed, seemed huge when we were when we were young, right? Yeah. We go from one side to the other in a few minutes now. Well, somebody was saying like, I was in Chalet 1 and we thought, oh, one, day, one night we're gonna visit the girls in Chalet 2. We're gonna go, you could touch their cabin from their yeah, cabin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And do you have any aspects of camp that have stayed with you through the years? Uh, well, just this summer taking my kids out camping themselves. Yeah. Uh, getting in a canoe. Um, and they're like, Dad, you, you know how to do this? Yeah. And just taking them out and wheeling them along the lake. And then we are like, well, how do you know how to do this? Yeah. Like, well, there was this special little place by the edge of the lake. Yeah. Uh, where I learned how to canoe as a kid. Yeah. And talk more about that, like the skills that you picked up here that you wouldn't have picked fire, up anyway. Fire building, right? We're, we're cooking a fire in the woods, we're cooking burgers, we're cooking dogs. Yeah. Um, you gotta know how to build that properly, right? Yeah. Uh, just putting up the tent, pulling that out after not seeing it for a year and you go right into it and know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, black, packing all the food, planning all the food. Um, just, yeah, recreation. And so pretty much being a parent is <laughs> sure supper on repeat. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Have, have those activities planned, right? That's right. What are you doing before the meal? What are you doing after the field? Because you can't let those kids set the agenda. You have exactly. to be the program director. Or they're going to be sitting around going, what are we doing? What are we doing? So yeah. just constantly keeping it going and keeping the fun rolling for them. Yeah. But I think about, like, oh, I, I know how to sail. Yep. I, I can tack a horse. Yep. I can, yeah. Like, where well, else would you get those? Well, Paul and I were discussing that. The, obviously, the barn's gone now. And we were saying, had it not been for that barn, I probably would have arrived at this point in my life never having ridden a horse. Yeah. Right? That's like, right. I'm, a, I'm from Toronto, right? Yeah. Not many barns in, no. in downtown Toronto. So this was the place where I first got to not only see horses, interact with them, but eventually get on them and ride them myself. Mm -hmm. Right? 
you remember any particular programs that stick out in your head? That are Dave, Dave mentioned one of them in his speech, where you think, where he mentioned you think get people to think aliens are landing. Yeah. So I was a camper for that one. Yeah. And it was all too real <laughs> as a camper. Yeah. Standing there as fifteen year olds being like the suspension of disbelief, but we, we know this isn't real, but what is going on is very real. Because we woke you up at midnight. Yes. And, and like, there's something going brought on. Brought you out lake. to the hill. Yeah. And there were lights going on Treasure Island. Correct. And then like the power board power boat pulls up to the beach. Rebecca Lowe jumps out. I was going to say, out. I believe it was Rebecca, yeah. And when she She's like purple, painted, purple, yeah, purple yeah. yeah. And she is screaming. Yes. She, she is in full character. And she just screams and like the nurses rush her up to the insulin. Yeah. And we said, I wonder what that was about. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> and that's where like with that intensity, you're like, okay, we know this isn't real, but yeah. what is going on here? Yeah. So it... Out of any program I've ever seen at, at camp, that's where you push people to believe as far as you could without it actually being real. Yeah, and people have said here, you know, one of the Uncle Don's strengths was just putting people in position and letting them run with things. And that continued down through Dave and then through Heather, yeah. that she was letting us do stuff, Yeah. right? Like, I, were you part of jumping off the barn? And all that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I remember a point where we propelled off the barn. Oh, wow. As part of, like, FBI something or other. It was night, and cars were pulling up, and all the headlights were on the barn, and people were coming down off ropes. And, like, where else would that, where else would that happen? Exactly. Was that just another time, or was that just luck for us? Uh, yeah, right place, right time in history, right people, right mix of people. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a perfect situation all coming together like the eclipse, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any times at camp that suck? Uh, you know what? I would say probably the first couple days of me being here. Yeah. That was simply because I was nine years old. Yeah. Away for the first time. Yeah. Uh, but then it was, and I specifically remember this, where it was like, I'm in. Uh, big game. Yeah. That's one of the first games you play to get people engaged, get yeah. people running around, interacting. Uh, and after that, I was like, I'm into this place. And I saw somebody post a tweet just recently from a camp that said, Listen, moms and dads, I know your your kid was crying when you dropped them off at camp, but just know that two days later, uh, they're a different person here. Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. That was that was me, right? And that's that that's what we always thought. Like if we can get them to day three without them going home, yeah. Like if they don't totally lose it, then they're fine. And yeah, glad you made it. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> it's amazing. It's great to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. Yeah. 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 Thanks All for right. thanks for sitting down and chatting. All right. Me. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Thank good you. to see you. Yeah, this is way better than. Yeah. Just yeah. Take a picture. <laughs> yeah. Making small talk. Yeah. You, you can